The word that could be used to describe CD Projekt Red Cyberpunk 2077 is polarizing. What was once viewed as the crown jewel of gaming to most consumers quickly turned into the butt of many jokes in the gaming industry. Find out why, up next. <laughs> What up guys, this is Kalo. I'm here to give you the lowdown on all things gaming. If you're new here, feel free to subscribe to this channel for weekly video game news content. Cyberpunk 2077 was once the most hyped up video game release of recent memory. Having released a teaser trailer back in 2012 and almost nothing since, gamers were left wondering, was this game put out to pasture? Fast forward a few years and there were drips and drabs of content released around the game, providing gamers with minor updates, cinematic trailers, and of course, Keanu Reeves. But speaking of Keanu, it was that E3 2019 trailer that revealed to the world that Cyberpunk 2077 was finally releasing on December 10th, 2020. Now, don't you worry, those yellow social media posts are coming. The world was just foaming at the mouth to finally enter the futuristic world of cyberpunk. But thanks to a global pandemic, multiple hardware and software iterations of the game simply not working, and just overall workplace crunch, the game was delayed further and further down the line, seemingly every single week. Now, it is allegedly assumed that one of these delays was accredited to the game's developer aiming for that 90 plus Metacritic score. Well. They didn't get that one, I guess. Now, to kind of put this all in a timetable, Cyberpunk was slated to release on April 16th, 2020, then got pushed back to September 17th, 2020, then that date got pushed back until November 19th, 2020, then finally settling on the date of December 10th, 2020. So what now? We finally made it to the release date after all these delays and you'd assume this game is polished up and ready to go, right? What's a few day one patches? Oh my friend, you couldn't be any more wrong. You're gonna need a lot more than those patches to stitch up this mess. Now, I just wanna state this out in the open, this game was doomed from the start. The sheer size and ambition that was put in place for this game was so expansive, I would have been thoroughly surprised if a launch day went off without a hitch. But after all the delays and just plain amount of time the game took to be in development, I really think this launch was just plain inexcusable. Now, keep in mind, this is the same studio that brought gamers hits like the Witcher series, with more specifically Witcher 3 Wild Hunt, which is the game's third outing and arguably being one of the industry's top rated games overall. But for the sake of this video, I wanna give you the exact tipping point for Cyberpunk 2077. Personally, I believe this game took a nosedive on that last delay announcement. Cyberpunk was delayed, and this is according to CD Projekt Red themselves, because the biggest challenge for us right now is shipping the game on next-gen and PC at the same time, which requires us to prepare and test nine different versions of it. This includes the Xbox Series X and S, PS4 Pro, and the original PS4, compatibility on PS5, PC, and Stadia while working from home. Now, I don't know about you, but testing nine different versions of this game sounds like a tall task. Add in the work from home bit and the already unbearable crunch the devs must have endured, this game just simply was not ready to launch. Now, keep in mind there are already reports at this time that the game was not running well at all on the Xbox One and PS4. They even brought up that point in the same post about the delay that since Cyberpunk 2077 evolved towards the almost being a next-gen title somewhere down the line, we need to make sure everything works well and every version runs smoothly. We're aware it might seem unrealistic when someone says 21 days can make any difference in such a massive and complex game but they really do. Now, speaking from personal experience on day one, I was fortunate enough to have gotten an Xbox Series X, so I played that game on a next-gen console, and there really weren't many game-breaking glitches. I did clip through the map here and there, and there was a section of the map that just seemingly wasn't available. Every time I went to that part of the map, the game just crashed. But I feel like I'm in the minority when it comes to my first playthrough experience with this game. I didn't have that many bugs that were so widely reported on, 
I also just enjoyed the game's story, and I often found myself going back to Cyberpunk even after I beat it to complete all these side missions and just take in the world. But at the same time, I've talked to plenty of people who just didn't play this game within its first year of release due to the fear of encountering these aforementioned glitches. So with all that being said, I pass this question off to you, the viewer. Did you experience any game-breaking glitches when playing Cyberpunk 2077? And more importantly, what are your thoughts about developers releasing unfinished games? Is it hurting the industry? Personally, I believe it is. I think that take all the time you need to release a game. Just make sure it works on day one. But that about does it here. I gave you the lowdown on all things Cyberpunk. And feel free to subscribe and drop a like on this video. And I'll see you guys next time.